CNBC reporter Rick Santelli went crazy the other day. Then the White House has responded as well. But first, we've got to show you uh, what Rick Santelli uh, did uh, when he was on CNBC. He just very animated about this housing rescue plan that Barack Obama has. It might rescue some homeowners in the country. And uh, Rick Santelli apparently believes that they've made some bad decisions and that they definitely uh, should not be rescued. Uh, good luck to him, he says, in more colorful language. So let's watch. We want to get to our task force right now. Rick Santelli and Jason Roney of Sharma Capital are standing by at the CME Group in Chicago. And, and Rick, have you been listening to this conversation? Listening to it? I I've been just glued to it because Mr. Ross has nailed it. You know, the, the government is promoting bad behavior because we certainly don't want to put stimulus for it and give people a whopping 8 or $10 in their check and think that they ought to save it. And in terms of modifications, I'll tell you what, I have an idea. You know, the, the new administration's big on computers and technology. How about this, President and new administration? Why don't you put up a website to have people vote on the Internet as a referendum to see if we really want to subsidize the losers' mortgages, or would we like to at least buy cars and buy houses in foreclosure and give them to people that might have a chance to actually prosper down the road and reward people that could carry the water instead of drink the water. Hey, Rick, That's a novel idea. Hey, hey Rick, did you... What? Oh, you boy. Yeah. 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 They're, 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 they're like putty in, they're like putty in your hands. Did you hear? No, they're not, Joe. They're not like putty in our hands. This is America. How many of you people want to pay for your neighbor's mortgage that has an extra bathroom and can't pay their bills? Raise their hand. How about we all... President Obama, are you listening? How about it? we all stop paying our mortgage? It's a moral hazard. <laughs> this is like mob rule here. I'm getting scared. I'm glad I'm. I'm glad I'm. A... Don't you guys Don't get, scared, get some Joe. bricks and They're bats. Already scaring you. You know, Cuba used to have mansions and, and a relatively decent economy. They moved from the individual to the collective. Now they're driving 54 Chevys. Maybe the last great car to come out of Detroit. They're, they're driving them on water too, which is a little strange to watch. Uh, at, there at you time. go. Hey, Rick, how about the notion that? Wilbur pointed out you can go down to two percent on the mortgage. You can go down to minus two percent and still have forty percent and still have forty percent not be able to do it. So why are they in the house? Why are we trying to keep I mean, them I in know the house? Mr. Summers is a great economist, but boy, I'd love the answer to that one. All right, I'm gonna let's stop it for a second there now. All right, so here's what we heard from him. Why are we supporting the losers' mortgages? Okay, so they're all losers. Now you see that's the problem with this mindset. He doesn't know any of those people. He says, oh, the ones with the extra bathroom and the extra bedroom, like they got a house that they couldn't afford because they were greedy. Do some of those exist? Absolutely. Are all the people who are in trouble with their mortgages the greedy ones that wanted an extra bathroom that are the losers and shouldn't be uh, you know, helped out by us? Come on. Of course not. Look, we showed you a Brave New Films clip here of real people who are having trouble paying their mortgages. They're good families. They're earning an income. They could have paid the mortgages if they got into a prime mortgage rather than a subprime mortgage, which they were pushed into because people wanted to make extra fees and commissions. Those are the real people in America. And then the part that really drove me crazy, when he looks across all these traders and the people that are involved in the financial industry and says, this is the real America. No, it's not. Those are the financial guys that got us in the mess in the first place. That's not the real America. <laughs> See, and that's their problem. In his world, those guys who are doing the wheeling and dealing, to him, that is the real America. And the people who suffer because of their decisions are the losers. And he said, why are we promoting bad behavior? How about the bad behavior but from, but from the sum of my bitches behind your back? Okay, the guys who pushed all these mortgages, pushed these complex derivatives in the first place, and the ones that toppled over the system. I didn't see you yelling and screaming about that. Oh my God, we should give money to the bankers. No, you, of course, CNBC. Oh, about the bankers, well, you don't understand. They need their bonuses. Aaron Burnett, on, also of CNBC, on Meet the Press. Oh, you don't understand. They're so talented. They need the bonuses of millions upon millions of dollars. But the homeowners, they're losers. We shouldn't reward their bad behavior. Look, it makes me sick, man. It really does. These people, they, they don't get it. And then he says, yeah, yeah, we're going to turn into Cuba. Right. God forbid we should try to help anybody in the country 
Because if you do, if you try to give a hand up to the people who need it, then you, oh, you're Cuba! You're socialist and communist. And next thing you know, we'll be driving around in 1954 Chevys. All right, look, at the, and the, here's one of the very important substantive points here. At the end, he says, if you lower it down to 2% so that people can pay their mortgages, 2% interest rate, you're still going to lose 40% of the homes. But that's what Obama said. He said, we're not going to rescue all 13.2 million homeowners that are underwater. You know, meaning that their mortgage is now worth more than their homes. Because some of those were speculators, some of those don't deserve the help, and some of them couldn't pay it even if we wanted to help them and they were worthwhile. Because they just got bought a home for whatever reason that they cannot afford. In fact, that 40% is not going to get help under this plan. Okay, They're trying to help the people who can pay their mortgage. If you make the mortgage and the interest rates a little bit more reasonable, they can. Now, look, am I saying I love the plan? I don't know. I think it's a really interesting question. What I do know is I'm not up in arms about the bad behavior of the losers with their mortgages, but think that the banks should get all the money, and the executives are geniuses that need to get all the money. You don't understand. They're the real America. That's what really bothered me about this clip. Let's give the plan a chance and let's see if it works.